YouTube automation is a scam. And here's why. The reason why I'm making this video is because I saw another content creator uploading this video explaining why that company pretty much went bankrupt. And the reason why I'm making this video is to give you a few warnings. This is an industry which can be very lucrative if you understand the industry. A lot of people might get one channel viral or two channels viral, but it's very hard to do something consistently and being able to adapt to the industry. So what I can only assume is that that company this person has been working for wasn't transforming their content enough. What do I mean with this is a lot of times you won't even see a top five channel anymore where they actually use the wording top five. It's because nobody cares about that kind of content anymore. You want to structure your title differently. And the same things goes on with your thumbnail. You have to consistently change in order to adapt with what the viewer wants to see. If this means go over your past 3000 thumbnails and look which ones are shit and which ones you can improve, then that is what you need to do. You need to go over all of these thumbnails, improve them, and of course hope they catch on to the algorithm again where you can see the little point and it goes back up again i'll share one right here this is one of our students and i said hey listen i think your thumbnails are great but i think single image thumbnails would do a lot better and his ctr jumped through the roof to about 23 percent and the reason why i'm telling you this is because i want to warn you if you do not do it correctly you will end up losing a lot of money because that's the reason why people say it's a scam because yes even for myself included i have a program i'm completely honest in that however the thing is if you purchase a program and you go into a wrong niche or you don't structure your videos correctly you will lose a lot of money imagine this imagine paying a thousand bucks for a program and then trying 30 videos times about $60, it's about 65 uh, these days, because well, you know, inflation, you will end up wasting 1800 on videos and a thousand on the program, so you will be wasting $2,800. Yes, that's a big hit. And I can assume that you might say, this is a scam, what is this industry? And that's the reason why I say, everything has changes. Some stuff might go ridiculously viral and get really trending, and some stuff might just die off. We have people that made over 20K literally with videos that were talking about Ukraine versus Russia war. However, that news now has died off. And the same goes with Bitcoin. Okay, yes, Bitcoin recently literally got like 30% back off from 15 to 20. But besides that, crypto has been dead for a year. If people go in such a niche, that's a dangerous niche to get into. Yes, it's getting about $10 per thousand viewers, but from a brand new channel, you will not be receiving like 6,000 viewers straight off your first video. You will most likely not make a profit on that unless Bitcoin recovers. A simple way to discover this is to go to Google Trends and type in Bitcoin versus Ethereum and you can literally see like these two things going up and down and make sure you filter them on YouTube so you can actually see the difference in it. You can see that, hey, listen, right now it's getting a little bit more popular again, but in the past year it has been dead as, yeah, you fill that word in. So that's the reason why I'm making this video and the reason why I'm titling it, of course, it's a very nice clickbait thumbnail and a title, hence the reason why this video will most likely perform well, is because YouTube automation is a scam if you do not un understand the industry. If you understand this game and you know how it works and what works, it becomes ridiculously easy to make a lot of money. And the thing with YouTube animation, which a lot of people are forgetting, is that it is kind of the same like real estate. You are just building up digital real estates. Every single video, you have to see it as a seed that can grow. Some videos might get 60 viewers in the beginning. Some videos might get 6,000 viewers in the beginning. But as long as you keep consistently optimizing your videos and your thumbnails, then you get better results. Some of the big cash cow channels, they're uploading four times a day and I'm like, that's a big waste. First of all, it gives you a lot more stress, a lot more overlook, and the best channels, they might post once per day, uh, but I would even recommend posting every other day just so you can yourself can see, hey, listen, I watched this video through the end, so this video is interesting. 
but if I'm watching a video that I think like after 37 seconds, like, yeah, this is kind of boring, let me scroll. That's the moment you lose a viewer. So go back into your analytics. So on my last video that I posted that was about the YouTube glitches and bugs, that's like two videos ago, um, you can see this demographic going down in the beginning because I need to start my intro faster. And then you can see it's like, I keep the attention from people for a very long time. But which I did in the beginning is I said, there's one of the glitches that still worked, which I will be telling on the end of the video. And literally you can see at the eight minute mark, you can see the audience retention going back up to about 70%, which is huge. And this shows you how you should be optimizing your content. Like even I'm going back over my own videos. I know for this industry, YouTube automation, the average uh, watch time is about three and a half minutes. Uh, I'm currently going pretty well. We're at about four and a half minutes and I want to push that through at six. So I can optimize my storytelling to get my voice from lower, to make sure that I can keep you interested by moving my hands, by showing something big or by showing something small. These are all little tricks that you have to look at. And I know you might say, hey, listen, Warner, that's of course for a YouTube channel that has a face with it. Yes, in this case, it's me sitting in front of the camera, but even for a cash cow video, it is literally the same. You can use your logo in order to speak. You can make it interesting. And one of the biggest channels that does that, which I'm an absolute uh, fan of, is Rebound. They talk with their logo very well and very engaging by consistently hinting towards the next clip. And this you can do in multiple sports. There is so much opportunity to grow inside of this industry, hence the reason why I'm making videos of it. I love uh, giving back to the community, hence the reason why I always say, hey, listen, if you wanna learn more about this and learn how to post your first video with a few tips and tricks on how to find the correct niche, then send me a message on Instagram at @wonderCashcow. that's my English page. I have two pages, a lot of people forget that. Wonder Cash Cow is really where I teach this stuff and Wonder is more of my personal life. Um, and who I am. So yeah, those are two a little bit different. But that being said, the reason why I'm sharing this is because I know people might be interested. Hence the reason why I'm also not ashamed to say, hey, listen, I have a program where I teach this stuff. It's not the reason that I want to promote it. It's literally like, hey, listen, there are a lot of mistakes people can make. And yes, about 90% of the information you can find on YouTube itself, but there are a few things that you have to look at and you have to understand. And for a lot of people, they want additional support. Hence the reason why I say, if you have the money, I would invest inside of a program. Because a lot of mistakes people are making and also even companies is that they invest like four videos a day. That's $240 a day that you're putting in. Imagine that. So you're putting in $240 but you're only getting on those four videos about 20,000 viewers. Let's say your RPM is about $4. Let's make it higher, $4. So you get 80 bucks, but you spend 240. So there's going something wrong with your video optimization. It might be how your video is structured, it might be your watch time, but I would go through like 100 or 200 or 300 of those videos and start optimizing them. What does the audience want to see? Spend a full day scrolling on YouTube getting video IDs in order to put out content that a viewer or people on YouTube want to see. Because the number one trick on going viral on YouTube is ridiculously simple, and that is the following. You have to keep the user on the platform. That's it. The longer you can keep them on the platform for, the more YouTube will reward you with views, money, and subscribers. That is all you need to know for this industry. And how you figure that out? That is by looking at your demographics. That's looking at, hey, listen, what do people want to see? Take a look, for example, for the explained video, which uh, was about the avatar, the way of the water. Like a very in-depth uh, explanation video of how that movie was created. And it's 11 million viewers in a month. Imagine that, times four, that's 44K maybe a little bit higher production and that they use. So the video might cost $100. That's still, let's just put it away pretty much. That's about $40,000 in profit. And yes, if you want to be precise, 39,900 most likely. That is insane. And that shows you that not uploading daily can also be a good thing. And hence the reason why every niche and every YouTube channel has their own algorithm, their own way of pushing and promoting content. 
Hence the reason why I'm going to be making a video of breaking down Mr. Beast's strategy of how he's getting so big in this industry. That being said, thank you so much for watching to this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.